Megan has the conversation with the ladies, with the woman of Nigerian. And she said, uh, Megan says uh, she's overwhelmed by the welcome. <laughs> she and her husband have received to, uh, to my country. She calls Nigeria my country. Regarding her genealogy, 43% Nigeria, Nigerian. She says she's flattered and humbled to be in the company of women who she's been told are defined as brave, resilient, courageous, powerful, and beautiful. And to the amazing, inspiring Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, to join us. And I was being blue today, and we didn't know that. Wow. So here we are, engaging issues as much as we can, and talk about things that are important to women. Um, and I'd like to start with you, Megan. Now, you found out recently that you are partly Nigerian. I did, yes. <laughs> so when you made this discovery, knowing Nigeria for what it is, I love my, no, I love Nigeria, please, don't let's get it wrong. You know, so we do love our country. You know, um, how did you feel about finding out that you were Nigerian? And did it give you a second sense of thinking about who you were as a person and what representation might mean to be a Nigerian? Well, firstly, thank you all so much for being here. I'm just flattered and honored and inspired. It has been a whirlwind. 24 hours oh, okay. <laughs> since we arrived and I've very quickly gotten the memo that I need to wear more color so I can fit in with all of you in your incredible fashion. So um, that I, I just am, I'm very overwhelmed. So I want to start by saying thank you very much for just how gracious you've all been in welcoming my husband and I to this country, my country. Your country, yes. <laughs> when, um, when I had done the genealogy and found out about my heritage, the first thing I did obviously was call my mom because I wanted to know if she had any awareness of it. And I think being African-American, part of it is really not knowing so much about your lineage, your background, where you come from specifically. And it was exciting for both of us to discover more and understand what that really means. Never in a million years would I understand it as much as I do now. Being here, right? Being here. And what, what has been echoed so much, really, in the past day by men and women alike is, oh, we weren't surprised when we found out when you were a Nigerian. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. And, and I say that mostly as a compliment to all of you because what they define as a Nigerian woman is brave, resilient, courageous, powerful, beautiful. And, and every single moment that I hear anyone so far talk about what it means to be a Nigerian woman, it is the most flattering thing to be in that company, to be in your company. So, um, yes, it's been really eye-opening and humbling to be able to know more about my heritage and to be able to know this is just the beginning of that discovery. We're going to have to give her a Nigerian name, right? <laughs> so let's, let's start thinking about what that name is going to be. Um, if <laughs> my well, I'm gonna go for Omowale. Omowale, if my you're gonna have all the different tribes, you know. <laughs> so the people magazine, the people that comes says uh, Meghan Markle's emotional journey to discover her Nigerian roots unfold in candid chat with my country chat my country i want to start by saying thank you very much for just how gracious you have all been in welcoming my husband and i to this country my country the duchess of sussex said megan joined dr ngozi okonyo iwela director general of the world trade organization in a candid panel discussion one day of her trip to Nigeria alongside Prince Harry. On Saturday, May 11, approximately 50 leading women from various sectors of Nigerian society, including politics, business, media, and culture, attended a session 
which was moderated by Nigerian media mogul Mo Abudu, who heads African First Global Black Entertainment Lifestyle Network. I'm just flattered and honored and inspired. It has been a whirlwind 24 hours since we arrived, and I'm very quickly got the memo that I need to wear more colors so I can fit in with uh, all of you incredible fashion, Megan told the crowd at the event which was attended by people. I'm very overwhelmed so I want to stop by saying thank you very much for just how gracious you have all been welcoming my husband and I to this country, Megan said pausing briefly b before adding uh, the applause my country.